Hi and welcome to our series of bite-sized videos on making the difference at GCSE Mathematics. In this video we're going to be focusing on helping students progress from grade 2 to grade 3. So on screen here we can see some areas where we see improved student performance at grade 3 compared to their grade 2 peers and in bold you can see the AO3 percentages and percentage change. This is a really main area, one of the key areas, and we're going to look at some sample questions on the next slide. In terms of our algebra, solving linear equations, grade three students are much more successful in starting to deal with slightly harder equations, those involving brackets, for example. So we mentioned AO3 percentage questions, and here are two examples of the type of questions that we mean. So we've got question 15 from June 2019, paper two, and question 21 from June 2023, paper three. And what we see here is there's a really clear distinction between students achieving, who went on to achieve a grade two, and those who go on to achieve a grade three. So for example, in question 15, our grade two students scored on average 1.23 out of the four available marks, whereas for grade three students, they were successful in achieving on average 2.61 out of the maximum of four marks. So supporting students in accessing that AO3 problem solving is really essential to support progress towards grade three. That's why I'd recommend our bronze, silver, gold problem solving papers that you can see on screen here. Now these are available by topic. You can see the example here for the fractions and percentages topic. The bronze papers include significant scaffolding, That's slightly reduced in our silver papers, working up towards the gold, which is as the paper question would appear in a live series. And these can be found within the practice paper section of the Maths Emporium. We also have our achieving a grade three practice papers. And as always at these grade levels of one to three, I always recommend our reordered papers. These allow you as a teacher to really home in on the questions that we know students are likely to be successful in. And it gives students a really clear sense of progress as they begin to be able to get further into the papers. These papers also include a helpful note to show when full marks up to a point would be enough to achieve a given grade. So in this example here, if students can achieve full marks up to question 15, then that would be enough to achieve a nominal grade three on that paper. This video is part of your subject advisor support from Pearson. I'm Vicky Wood, your subject advisor for maths and statistics, and on screen you can see all the different ways that you can get in touch with me if you'd like any further support.